pioneer in the industry. There were no uh, rules or records about uh, how to do this kind of natural product business. We were flying by the seat of our pants. And so there was no measurement tool to measure what we were doing. One of the greatest challenges was getting money. Uh, banks were not wanting to loan to this kind of a concept. What's this about, they would say. The event that I believe has impacted my business in the last 10 years is really the awareness by public now in regard to the greening of our concepts. Uh, recycling, uh, green packaging, organically grown food. There's an increased awareness. I believe the small independent uh, retailer will need to specialize in a particular area with quality products and do a superb, excellent job. When that occurs, there will always be a need for that kind of a niche. I love the fact that children are getting involved. School programs, school lunch programs, uh, farming in their own uh, school backyard as such, learning how to purchase local products. That's what excites me because as those children get that information and knowledge, they're going to carry it forward. And as they grow exponentially, this will move uh, in big time. I believe the trends in this natural product industry now, healthy food, uh, are the parameter of the stores are where people are going, whether it's fresh produce, deli, uh, take-home uh, items, etc. Uh, their lunches, their dinners, all right there. So it's becoming a go-to place where people feel comfortable and uh, there's a happiness when you go into these kinds of stores. When I was at Nature's Best, we basically dealt with the smaller retailers. There weren't a lot of chains. And each retailer needed to become individual. Make its place. Let who it is be known. What did it specialize in? And it would attract the type of people that wanted or needed what they had to offer. And so I would think that the small retailer needs to not think about being everything to everybody as a Whole Foods is, but finding a niche that they're very good at and can promote and gain customers through that knowledge base. I think that food technology has grown so that what is being offered today as good and healthy and organic really wasn't that much available when I started in the industry. And I'm thinking that this is wonderful because uh, there's many components to that. You get to cook differently now. You get to come back to the family table, if so desired, or have foods that are quickly prepared and everything centering around food is for me the most exciting thing in the last 10 years. If you dare to think beyond your prior conditioning and go out of your box and start to learn about other cultures and other foods, and then try to incorporate it in with what you know, I think that the, the excitement of food, of taste, and what you can do is, uh, is for me, the, the, one of the ultimates. One of the trends that I think has uh, excited me the most is the delivery system of food. And I use the example of the Tetra Pak, which wasn't there a long time ago. You can now have shelf-stable products in this packaging that lasts a long time that will not require refrigeration or other uh, ways of preserving foods in this container. I think that has done a lot uh, for food. I am disappointed that money is winning out over health and that uh, GMOs are, are being allowed into the system. They snuck in as feed for uh, animals and they end up getting into our food system. Uh, I'm concerned because I think our bodies are a fine piece of machinery and I don't think they were designed to deal with what the potential problem of GMOs will do to our 
own personal health system.